Well, believe it or not, corn guitarist Brian Head Welch is actually receiving criticism from some in the Christian community. It all started during a recent appearance on Machine Head frontman Rob Flynn's No Fucking Regrets podcast. Now, you may have heard these initial comments before, but there have been some recent developments, so stick around to hear his latest response to the backlash from this interview. It was during that interview, some of you will recall, that Welch admitted that he went overboard with his Christianity when he left Korn back in 2005. Thankfully, he was able to deal with his sobriety issues, and he later returned to the band. But you may recall numerous very outspoken statements from the Korn guitarist around that time. Welch said, The crazy thing is I had an experience with something from another dimension, and it wasn't the religion, going to church and being a good boy. It was like, it felt like something came into my house and I can't explain it to this day. But I believe that it was Christ doing something in me. So that was real. That was very real. But yes, I think I went too far with it and I got obsessed with it. Just like I was obsessed with the drugs. I believe I did for sure. And I had come out of that and found normalcy. Because there's nothing worse than a freaking irritating religious person just shoving it down your throat. There's nothing worse than that and you saw it on the documentary Loud Crazy Love. Now, it was this statement that led to backlash from some Christians who felt as if Welch was actually speaking negatively about the faith. He spoke on the pushback during a March 22nd appearance on the Truth Seeker podcast. He said, Now, I will be honest. After this little thing happened with the Rob Flynn podcast, I'll probably think about it and be like, All right, help me, Lord, articulate better. I'm not trying to get attacked. I'm not trying to get all that. And I do want to be clear about, because I don't know what these rock sites that covered the podcast were thinking. They were thinking I'm backing away from my faith. That's not true at all. I just went too far with the fanaticism and all that stuff. And that's all I meant. At the end of the day, it's all good. If there's drama and people think I said something wrong, well, whether they're there for me or against me, Paul said something like that. Either way, Christ is being preached and for that I'm stoked. He spoke about learning of the backlash from his appearance on the podcast. This one guy said, I saw one video clip a friend sent me, and he's like, getting a lot of messages about this, and the video was called, Brian Welch quits Christianity or something like that. It got thousands of views. The clip that I saw, the guy goes, I will be so bold as to say Brian Welch was never a Christian. I'm just like, dude, I'm thinking about this guy and I'm going, you really have the cojones to say that? That's putting yourself up with God's level. And so I'm kind of scared for this guy. He's just like so far off. Man, that's messing with things. Man, that you shouldn't mess with. That's the one thing that Jesus went after in the Gospels. He was so irate and so against that spirit, judgmental spirit, and this and that. And Jesus is with the prostitute saying, come to all that are broken. And this guy is saying that? Wow, that's gonna be an interesting conversation. Honestly, I saw that and I just said, Lord, have mercy on this guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Have mercy on him. And where I'm in the wrong, fix me too. I'm just trying to take the humble approach, but that's how I feel. And it was a little sad, but not a big deal. Welch famously wore a white robe and a long beard when he was baptized back after leaving Corn in 2005. He told MTV News at the time, God told me, he didn't say, hey, Brian, I just got a feeling in my heart that he was going to let me know something. I was going to be told something in Israel because the pastor is going to dunk me in the Jordan River. And when I came back here, I'm going to be a different person. Welch would later rejoin Korn in 2013 at the Carolina Rebellion Festival in Rockingham, North Carolina. That's all for now. For more news and updates from Rockfeed, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss more breaking news and updates.